Hi everyone, welcome to another video. If you're new here, I'm Marion and here it's all about art, games and technology. I have just returned from the beautiful Yucatan Island, Mexico. I've had two weeks of sun and vacation and a wonderful time and now I'm back in rainy, cold Germany. So I feel a little bit under the weather, but I really wanted to make a video about this thing that I received as a present um, some weeks ago. And I really wanted to do another unboxing and review video since they are the most popular on my channel. Um, so I never unpacked it and never used it and it's been staring at me basically ever since I got it. So I'm dying to show you. Let's jump right in. This is the Neo Smart Pen M1. It is the most recent model of Neo Smart Pens. What it basically does is it digitizes your analog writing on paper into a digital app. What that means is you don't have to scan your notes anymore. With this thing, the idea is that it's instantly inside an app that also comes with the device. And yeah, you basically have your scribbles and texts all digitally. But it does way more than that. It has a lot of cool features and I will unbox it for you and test it out. in the package um, you can see the pen uh, my boyfriend got me the gray version there's more color version than this one but he knows me so well like this is gorgeous the gray and the neon yellow just look absolutely sharp and cool the other contents of the packages are a user manual the testing sheet the charger of course because you need a micro usb charger to load the battery of your pen those are two extra ballpoint refills and that's it says here 2018 and new smart pen it actually looks like a moleskin book but i don't think it is it looks and feels really beautiful i think this might be real leather so everybody who's vegan be careful it has in here the instructions how to sync it to your calendar it's really nice then the calendar starts so it's now actually um already the 15th of february so i'm a little bit late uh, with using the calendar but i might start using it depending on how much i like the new smart pen it looks really really beautiful <laughs> It says um, we have to charge the pen for about 30 minutes to get it started. So I will charge it up and be right back. Today, Kitty is helping again with the video. So say hi to Babu. Oh yeah, she has the hardest life. I'm back with the hopefully charged up pen. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to download the app that we need to digitize our scribble. And I decided to um, put it on the iPhone and not on my iPad because on my iPad I have my Apple Pencil and I can just directly draw on the iPad. It would not make too much sense to um, put it on the iPad. But my phone I always have with me and um, so that would be a really good idea to digitize my stuff that I write in here on the way.
I'm going to open the new notes app. Um, it suggests that I would register my pen first. Ooh, it connected. How exciting. to actually um, to sync the app to my um, Google account into my Google Calendar. It seems like this works this way. So at 10 a.m. To the animation clause, and then I would touch here, and then it uploads to calendar. Oh, that is smart. <laughs> Okay, so you can see it actually synced my notes into the calendar. One time it read as CD animation class, not 2D animation class. And if we write it in the monthly and the weekly uh, page, it appears double. So I will maybe delete this one. I will now try to sync it onto the eye calendar. So you can only sync one calendar. Before I want to give my final review of um, the new smart pen, I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, technology behind the pen because this pen is very very different in technology from for example the new um, Wacom Bamboo which is also a smart pen but um, this only works with a certain kind of paper if you look very very closely the paper has this microstructure that is picked up by the camera inside the pen which means two things you can only use this kind of paper with the pen and the second thing is if you hold the pen in a wrong or crooked way it might not pick up the line as for using this as a sketchbook i would not use this for really really elaborate sketching i would use this for um, maybe design drafts for spontaneous ideas on the go for meeting notes, for anything really that you would do with a pen, because remember this is a pen, this is not as sensitive as a Wacom pen or a real pencil. Also the Neo Notes app is not a drawing or painting app, so it has very limited functions for this kind of stuff because it simply is not made for that. Um, which is not too bad because there are enough painting and drawing apps as it is so this is a very very specialized software but anytime you need to have something digitized quickly and especially if you want to share it with others as i said like in in meetings with your team and um, during a brainstorming phase or something like that this could really be very very useful another awesome feature is the editing of the text there is a transcription feature that works perfectly so to decide if i want to recommend the new smart pen i'm going to make a pros and cons list 
and you can decide for yourself if you want to purchase one. So one of the pros is definitely the sleek design, beautiful notebook, the functional software which is by the way also available for desktop, the mobility you can take it wherever you want. The innovative technology and the fact that analog loves digital which is in this highly digitized world a goal for many many artists and creative people. The cons are um, the little bit clumsy um, handling um, with the camera, the fact that you cannot use this on every type of paper of course you can write on this with on every kind of paper but it will not get picked up by the app another con is that it needs charging which of course um, if you are also a Wacom user you are highly spoiled by the pens that do not need a battery nor charging and the price is also a little bit high for what it is so that was my review of the new smart pen m1 please let me know in the comments down below if you are going to get one for yourself or if you have tried any other smart pens before i'm really looking forward to hearing what you have to say about this also if you want me to review any other cool new tech devices uh, please let me know in a comment you know the drill like and subscribe and i'll talk to you soon bye